in the name of God. Hi everyone. Today our new lesson is chapter 12, heat, section 2, what's heat? Page 226 to 233. The main idea and the uh, aims inside this section to learning what's heat and comparison between conduction, convection and radiation and also using a specific heat capacity to calculate the heat. So at first, I will start with a very simple example. If you want to check your health and you go to the doctor, the first thing that the doctor do it, put the stethoscope on your back. And maybe you jump a little and you say, oh, that's cold. So what material or what's this thing inside the stethoscope that make it feel cold? So maybe we use heat for just hot objects, but we have to learn in this section that heat is used for both cold and hot objects. Okay, so there's something inside the stethoscope that make it feel cold. As a definition of heat, we have to know something is transferred from your skin to the stethoscope. That's why you feel cold. Or if you put your hand on the hot object, you feel hot because something is transferred from this hot object to your hand. And the transferring of energy between two objects with a different temperature. So tra transferring energy between two different temperature, uh, two objects of the different temperature is called heat. So heat is a transfer of energy from two different objects, from one object to the other object that they have different temperature. So by this way, the energy from your skin transferred to the tesoscope. In heat, or transferring energy, the energy transfer from higher temperature to the object with the lower temperature. Okay? So if you have two objects with a different temperature, the energy transfer from higher temperature to the lower temperature object Teal or until thermal equilibrium. Until thermal equilibrium. So we said that heat is transfer of energy between two objects that they have the different temperature, and this transferring of energy it starts with the high temperature object and it's moved to the low temperature object and from thermal equilibrium. It means until they have the same temperature. So after that, we have to know which type of energy can be transferred during heat or which type of energy can be transferred from high temperature object to the low temperature object. This type of energy is called thermal energy. And thermal energy unit is joule, can be expressed as a joule because it's energy. Thermal energy is total kinetic energy of particles inside an object. So total kinetic energy of particles inside an object, it's called thermal energy. Thermal energy is different from temperature. In the previous video, previous lesson, we said that temperature is the average kinetic energy of particles inside an object. This one is total. Average, for example,
This one is average kinetic energy of particles inside an object, but thermal energy is a total kinetic energy inside an object. So, if you want to learn about temperature, you can watch the previous video, which is about the temperature. And for this one, total kinetic energy, for example, the particles inside an object, Each particle inside an object can move, and this movement, we said it produces a kinetic energy, which is energy of motion. So, for example, this one has 17 joule of kinetic energy, this one 18, this one 20, this one 22, this one 23, this one 20. Total, it means 17 plus 18 plus 20 plus 20 plus 23 plus 22. And it's equal 120. This is the total kinetic, total kinetic energy of particles inside an object. And the total kinetic energy inside an object that we explained, it's called thermal energy. But in temperature, we have to add all numbers, all kinetic energy of particles inside an object, then divide by the number of particles inside the object. So this is the difference between temperature and thermal energy. This one is average of kinetic energy, and this one is the total kinetic energy of particles. And in the previous video, we said that the temperature doesn't depend on the amount of uh, particles that's in object. But this one is depend on amount by the number of particles. So it doesn't depend on the particles number, it is the average. But in the total thermal energy, in the in thermal energy, which is called total kinetic energy, the number of particles can change the thermal energy. So sometimes maybe we have two, for example, we have a soup inside a pan and soup inside a bowl. They have the same temperature, for example, 40 degrees Celsius, 40 degrees Celsius. But this one has more thermal energy because it has more soup. So the most of soup is inside the uh, pan and some of the soup is inside the bowl. So this one has more thermal energy and this one has less thermal energy, but they have the same temperature. They have the same temperature with a different thermal energy. So we have to learn that thermal energy can be moved from the uh, objects from higher temperature to the object with the lower temperature. So I want to explain how thermal energy can be transferred from higher temperature to lower temperature object. Dear students, if you have a bottle of juice, this one, Temperature of this juice 25 degrees Celsius and 
a temperature of bottle 25 degrees Celsius. If you put inside the ice and we know that the freezing point of water is zero, so the ice cubes has zero degrees Celsius. We said that thermal energy can be transferred from higher temperature to lower temperature object higher temperature object to lower temperature object okay so higher temperature object it means it can be transferred from more kinetic energy Lower temperature object has less kinetic energy. So, thermal energy can be transferred from higher temperature object to the ice cube, which is lower temperature object. Transferring thermal temperature continuously to the ice cube Scouts the melting, the first one, energy, transfer. Second one, ice cube, melt. Why ice cube melt? Because it can get thermal energy from the juice and the bottle. So, by getting energy from the juice and the bottle, the particles inside ice cube get energy and cause the increasing the kinetic energy or increasing the movement of particles inside ice cube and it will melt. After that, eventually, the temperature of ice cube and temperature of bottle of juice will become equal. So after that, the temperature of bottle of juice of glass or the bottle and the ice cube will become equal because of thermal equilibrium. So this one has become 9 degrees Celsius, 9 degrees Celsius and 9 degrees Celsius. By this way there is no net change in kinetic energy and in thermal energy. So now this container with the ice cube, with the glass and with the juice they are in the thermal equilibrium. Okay. So, dear students, as a quick provision, I want to define the heat. We said that heat is not just for using the uh, hot objects, it's also used for uh, determination of thermal energy inside the hot objects and uh, inside the cold objects and heat, it's, uh, the scientific definition of heat is transferring of energy from uh, between two objects, which is one of them is, uh, for example, with a different temperature, one of them has cold and the other is hot. And we said after that, this energy that we have it and can be transferred between these two different objects is thermal energy and thermal energy can be expressed uh, by joule and after that we said the thermal energy is dependent on the mass and also the temperature of the uh, object and after that we said that uh, the transferring of energy it is started or uh, transfer energy transferred from the higher temperature object to the lower temperature object and the higher temperature object has more kinetic energy than the lower temperature object. After that, we explained this change that's uh, happened between the uh, two different temperature objects that's come in contact. Thank you.